Apple Music just dropped a new Discovery Station feature, which is a personalized algorithmic music station based on your previous listening habits. And this is kind of blowing me away a little bit. So you scroll down and look for stations for you, and then you'll see your station and then your discovery station over here. So all you do to enable it is just tap on it. And then it immediately starts playing stuff that it thinks you will like that you probably don't have in your library. I've already found several artists that I've never heard of before, but they sound similar to the stuff that I've listened to in the past. So it's doing its job and it kind of feels like Apple Music's claws are out for Spotify, where Spotify is known for having the best algorithm, the best like discovery. So this is Spotify's Discover Weekly mixtape. So this comes out every month. Monday. It has a bunch of new songs each week, about two hours worth of new stuff, and it's awesome, and it's what Spotify is really known for, discovering new stuff, and it's pretty freaking accurate. But with Apple Music and their new Discovery Station, how does this compare to Spotify? So first of all, the Discovery Station is an ongoing station, so it doesn't have a limited amount of songs like the Spotify Discover Weekly playlist. It's not a playlist, it's actually a station. It's an algorithmic station of a bunch of stuff it thinks you'll like. And you can also refresh it immediately, so if you want to change it up or you don't like what it's playing, you just tap on Discovery Station again, and it'll immediately start playing a bunch of new stuff. And like I've said, I've already found a bunch of really awesome tracks with this. I've added it to my library and it just seems like it gets better and better the more I use Apple Music. And it really adds an entirely new dimension to Apple Music. It kind of fills that void for me of how do I discover new music without having to use my brain, which is maybe not a good thing. I shouldn't maybe be so lazy, but I do like sometimes the algorithm to kind of give me something, you know, like throw me a little curveball, throw me something new that I probably never would have found otherwise. And I like that it's not limited to just that, you know, 25 or whatever, how many songs are on the Discover Weekly playlist on Spotify, you just press this thing and I swear you can just listen to music forever in the afterlife even, like when your avatar is fully uploaded to the cloud and your body is cryogenically frozen. So it's not 100% accurate. Like sometimes it gives me something that is just completely like not something I would listen to. Like I pressed it once and it gave me a kid rock song that was just absolutely atrocious. No tea, no shade to anyone that likes kid rock. This is not a personal attack. However, it's just not my thing. I never listened to Kid Rock or anything kind of even close to that. And it kept giving me these songs that just really had nothing to do with the stuff I listened to. But to rectify that, all I did was press Discovery Station again, and then it reloaded the algorithm. It did its thing. And I was back to hearing a bunch of stuff that I probably never would have heard before. And a lot of it is really obscure, kind of like the Discover Weekly playlist where it digs really deeply based on your interest, based on the stuff you've listened to, and it delivers some cool stuff. This is kind of like Discover Weekly weekly radio, but for Apple Music. And I think this is a huge feature. I think this will entice a lot of people that are on the fence of like, should you use Spotify or should you use Apple Music? This, I think, is a huge selling point. In fact, maybe the main selling point that I would say, hey, use Apple Music for actually a couple things. Number one, lossless audio. I'm a huge fan of lossless audio. And then number two, the discovery station. Like this is just so much fun. And it really feels like Apple Music has refreshed into a completely new beast. One of the weird things I've noticed about discovery station though is you can't use Siri commands to invoke it. Like if you say, hey S, play discovery station. Like I'll show you what happens. Play Discovery Station. So instead of going to the Discovery Station, it's playing Discovery and similar artists. So I guess it's playing an artist called Discovery and a radio station based on that. So it would be really nice if you can just say, hey S, play Discovery Station, and then it'll play the Discovery Station. And most, if not all of the songs that have showed up for me in the Discovery Station have definitely been songs that I've never heard, or maybe songs by artists that I have heard before, but maybe haven't added them to my library. So it kind of digs a little deeper into the stuff I already listened to, but also just completely new stuff that I've never heard before. And by the way, if you want to hear some stuff without even having to use this Discovery Station feature, check out my music on Apple Music and Spotify, etc. by searching for Ben Aqua and you'll find all my stuff there, really kind of hyper synth pop weird music. Highly appreciate all your streams and support. So anyway, that's Discovery Station. I'm having so much fun with this so far. I found so much cool new stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is it working well for you? How accurate is it for you? Like, is it giving you some stuff that you definitely haven't heard of before? And also, is this a Spotify killer? Is this the one feature that will keep people planting their ears into Apple Music? Planting their ears? What the hell? Anyway, smash the like button and subscribe down below if you're not already. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments and questions below and I will see you in the next video.